Welcome back to Cooking with Glenn and Katie. We are standing in front of my favorite tree, a Japanese dogwood tree. Today's recipe requires four eggs, and I like to use fresh eggs, so I'm gonna see if I can snatch one or two. And today, there's speckles. Now, let's move over speckles. What's the matter? Can I have some eggs? Can I have some eggs? May I have some? Okay. There's two. Oh, they, they fell down. Three, four, got them all. Was one of these your eggs? To get started, we need to cook the cauliflower. I've got a huge head of cauliflower here. So when you make this recipe, get the largest one that you can find, trim it up, take the leaves off the base, cut it about right here, and then we're gonna put it in the microwave for 10 minutes. I'm just gonna sit on a plate and let it cook. Okay, I have the cauliflower out of the microwave. It's cooled down, and now it's time to rice it. Okay, now it's time to add ingredients to the cauliflower. Look how pretty it is. We got all ground up. Now the cauliflower has moisture in it and I need something that will take some of that moisture away to get a consistency so I can make the balls. So I'm going to be putting one pack. This one has two packs. It says seven ounces. So three and a half ounces of instant mashed potatoes. And now I'm going to add one tablespoon of fresh ground garlic, one teaspoon of ground pepper, and a half a teaspoon of Texas peat dust. You could use cayenne pepper, but I'm going to be using this since I'm from North Carolina and Texas peat is from North Carolina. But I love the flavor because it's not as hot as some of the other peppers. four eggs from the hen house. So these are fresh eggs, but at any rate, I like to break them and put them into a, another bowl just in case one's bad. So that one's good, so I'm gonna dump it in. And now that I've mixed all that together, I'm gonna add the mozzarella cheese. Now I'm gonna make some cheddar cheese little cubes because I'll be putting them in the balls. I've got this cheese stick. I'm just using what I've got, but you can use a brick of cheese, whatever you've got. And now I'm going to make the balls. I just do it by feel but I'll make it about the size of a walnut. It stays together pretty well. After I make the ball, I'll stick in the cheese. And now it's time to put it in the oven. The oven's preheated to 400 degrees and we'll cook them for 30 minutes. Delicious looking things. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh, oh. Taste the cheese. Good. Cauliflower cheese balls. Mmm. Uh -huh. Mmm. Good. good. Very good. Delicious. Very delicious. Taste the cheddar, mozzarella, and the cauliflower just blends. Just perfect. They're absolutely delicious. I can taste the hen of garlic. Mm -hmm. 
the cheddar cheese and the mozzarella cheese as a perfect adorb. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yes, and if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please be sure to do so. And don't forget to click the notification button. And if you would like to comment below, we would love to hear from you and respond. If you enjoyed today, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. And we will see you guys next week. See, see ya. ya.